This is Corporal Dan Stiles with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources Law Enforcement Division. I want to talk to you briefly about boat registration or vessel registration. There are three types of vessel registrations. There's new registration for brand new vessels that you purchase from a vendor. Um, also, there's transfer when you purchase a vessel that was previously owned by someone else and then there's a renewal. Uh, vessel registrations last for three years and they expire the last day of the birth month of the registered owner. If you sell or change address on your vessel registration, you're required to notify the department within two weeks of doing so. All motorized vessels in operating on state waters in Georgia must be registered. The only time a vessel doesn't need to be registered is if you're operating on private water such as a lake or a pond. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to Real Talk. I'm your host, Pat Brock, and it is the first day of school for Dublin City Schools, and Yay. we're starting. Yay. Yay! And we are starting out our day. We're starting out our day here at Susie Dasher Elementary, where the, where the principal is Lakeisha Fluker. And we've got some wonderful ladies from the sororities who absolutely have the best cheerleading squad, <laughs> welcoming committee that these kids Yay. could. <laughs> that these kids could ever ask for. We're going to let them, they're going to introduce themselves and they're going to tell you about their organization and why they do what they do. We want to start with the Zeta Phi Beta sorority. Hi, I'm from Beta Alpha Chi Zeta chapter of Zeta Phi Beta sorority and we are all about service and we are here this morning just wanting to just welcome the students and hope that they have a prosperous yes. and productive yes. year. Wonderful. Now tell us what your profession is. There are so many educators out here. Yes, I am a retired educator. <laughs> How many yes, years? I taught school for 30 years. In which system? In the Lawrence County School System. Wonderful. But I attended in the Dublin City School <laughs> System as well. So I'm between both. <laughs> Wonderful, and thank you so much for your many yes, years yes. of service. We're going to switch here to our, our Delta. Right. Good morning. Okay. My name is Bobby Lothar, and I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and we're dedicated to serving our community, and we're here to cheer our children on and let them know that we love them and we support them. Yes. Wonderful, yes. wonderful. Yes. All right, Dr. O'Neill. Good morning. I agree with my sisters here. I am representing Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Taught Omicron Omega Chapter. And likewise, it's all about service. It's all about allowing the children to know that we're here for them. And we're hoping and praying that they will have a great school year. Wonderful. And you know, when you all see these young people come forth, you being a, an educator as well, are you retired now or are you yes, still going on? Yes, yes. Semi. <laughs> Semi, 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 yes. I mean, uh, what thoughts do you have about at this age and, and how impactful their lives are and how impressionable these young people are and how important it is to be positive role models for them? Well, one thing that comes to my mind is that our young people have to go through so much in this part of the era that we're living in now. And for them to have a jump start on a good education is the foundation that will help them to be successful in life. Absolutely right. Ms. Bobby? The children are our future, and it takes a village. Yes. And we are part of that village. We yes. want them to know that we are here for them. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. And ma'am? Well, I just want to say that the most important thing in this day and time is to just train them up in the way that they should go, first of all. Give them that foundation that they need. And we are challenging our parents, our teachers, all the educators everywhere to just come on one accord because we all are one. Our purpose is one. Wonderful. We are here to run the service. We are here to do whatever we can for our kids. Yeah, wonderful. Yes. And thank you all so much for all that you do. This is going to be a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We're going to have the opportunity. We're going to Welcome visit back. all the schools Welcome here back. with Dublin City yes. Schools, and you're going to meet some of the new teachers as well. So thank you, ladies, so much. Yes. Welcome, Welcome back, back to school. school. <laughs> Welcome back to school. 
Welcome, Welcome back to school. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's your turn to meet some of these amazing teachers that have joined the staff here with Dublin City Schools. And of course, with Susie Dasher, we've got Miss Tiffany Reynolds here, first grade ELA. How are you? I'm great. Congratulations and welcome to Georgia. For yes, one. thank you. All right, so share with us about you, okay? Okay, um, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, got married and came here to Dublin and had this opportunity to teach here at Susie Dasher. And how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching about seven years about seven years and of yes. course you've got a great bunch here guys say hi to everyone hi. <laughs> and you know your first day I mean how was it for you preparing to be in a new state for one and then with this class here you know it's always overwhelming at first but I just found my speed kept going with it and I knew once I got into it we'll be fine all right and what's your teaching style like with these young ones I really believe in preparing them to take care of their own needs. Mm -hmm. I believe in empowering them and equipping them with communication. So we're going to work on a lot of skills in here. Mm -hmm. I want them to be able to touch the word, see the word, feel the word, move the letters, whatever we have to do to right. learn. That's what we're doing in here. Wonderful. So you're the right person for the job? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, we're so glad to have you with us here. I know this is day one, so I know you're eager to get started. Yes, and indeed. kids, are you ready to learn? Yes! <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Miss Tiffany Reynolds, first grade ELA here at Susie Dasher Elementary. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, standing to my right, I mean... This guy's reputation speaks for itself with the Dublin Eye Fighting Irish mm. champions. Mm. Mm. <laughs> We've got Mr. Derek Harris with us. Derek, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to Talk see you. to us. I mean, you've, you've kind of, your life has come around in full circle to bring you back here to Dublin. Mm -hmm. Share with us about that. Well, I mean, you know, I, as I was saying before, um, I went to school here at Susie Dasher. Right. 42, 42 years, two years ago. Um, actually, it's a funny story. I was walking down the street because my mom and dad failed to pick me up after school. Mm -hmm. And I had my little blue satchel bag and I just walked out of Miss Dalzell's classroom headed down Glenwood Highway on your own on my own and the Dublin Police Department caught me on I-16 and I was mad I was just stomping the whole way how old were you Derek I, I don't know seven maybe <laughs> something like that um, but anyway uh, it's good to be home it's yeah. good to be back here at Susie Dasher Principal Fluker is a phenomenal human being yes. her energy her excitement for the year has rubbed off on me um, but I think what we did yesterday, which mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, other people can attest to, right. we did a community bus ride around our community that we're going to serve. Right. And it's changed since, yeah. since I've been here. Right. Um, and it was very emotional for me. Mm -hmm. And it inspires me even more to try to make a positive difference. Uh, in the community that I grew up here on the south side as yeah. well. So I'm excited to be back. We're glad to have you back. Now, how many years has it been since you left? Ooh, um, I left here in 87 for the University of Georgia, stayed there two and a half years, went to Western Carolina and North Carolina, graduated, uh, immediately went to South Carolina, right. uh, did the whole married thing and had my kids. Right. And um, I guess fast forward 35 years right. and I was in Johns Creek at Northview mm -hmm. High School in uh, Johns Creek in the uh, metro Atlanta area. Right. And uh, I was an ISS teacher up there last year. Coach Holmes um, mm -hmm. uh, gave me a call and said, let me tell you what I got. Wow. And little do you know I'm here, so. And we're so glad to have you here because we know for one, your expertise and what you do as far as health and fitness is gonna manifest itself, not just in the classroom here, but also on that football field. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. I mean, I'm, I'm going to learn from a legendary coach. Right. Um, that was the most exciting thing for me is being able to find his tutelage, uh, mm -hmm. um, both sides of the ball, special teams. Right. He is a phenomenal football coach. I, I, I would say Coach Holmes is probably one of the best football coaches in the country. Um, and he is uh, just, a, just a, a mystery of mind of, right. uh, of information about mm -hmm. the sport of football. And, and so I'm happy to be a part of his staff. Glad to have you a part of the team. Glad to have you back here in Dublin. Thank you. And glad to have you here at your alma mater, Absolutely. Susie Dash. Absolutely. <laughs> I appreciate it. No walking down I-16. No, never again. Never, never again. again. Never. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Derek Harris, health teacher here at Susie Dasher. Thanks, Derek. Thank you. What makes Medical Park Pharmacy and Tomlinson Pharmacy different than the big chains? People. You'll see friends and neighbors on both sides of the counter. We go the extra mile, and you can always count on compassion and professionalism. 
If you hate going to your big chain pharmacy and waiting and waiting, then come to Medical Park Pharmacy, 2406 Bellevue Road or Tomlinson Pharmacy, 108 Row Street in downtown Dublin, where your prescriptions are filled in minutes, not hours. Save money and time at Medical Park and Tomlinson Pharmacies, our family caring for your family. We've got Mr. Samuel Stanley with us, the third grade ELA teacher here at Susie Dasher. Kids, say hello. Hello. You can hear him in the background. Talk with us, sir. Share with yes. us about you, your history in education, and of course, leading to where you are today. Yes, ma'am. I'll be, I'll be happy to. My name is Mr. Stanley, Samuel Stanley. I've been teaching for five years now. It's my first year here at Susie Dasher Elementary. So excited. Um, I, came, I taught in Henry County and Twiz County. So um, I'm just really excited to to impart everything I learned from Hearing County and Jeffersonville Elementary School here at Susie Dasher. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. We're certainly glad you're here. You know, a lot of teachers, you know, have to kind of figure out what their teaching style is and kind of what is your teaching style to really help these kids grasp and understand not only what you're teaching, but to be able to apply it. Mm, great question. So I have a, a background in the military. I was in the Marine Corps for four years. And so discipline, um, courage, and honor, mm -hmm. I like to instill in my students. And so with that, I teach standards through that, through that kind of um, character building. Wonderful, yes, wonderful. Yes. So we're certainly glad to have you here. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, tell us, where'd you go to school? Uh, Middle Georgia State University. All right, uh -huh. very good. Well, it's a pleasure, Mr. Stanley. Thank you. First day out, yes. uh, we wish you nothing but success. We know you're gonna have a great year. Mm -hmm. And of course, with your background, you can't help but. Thank you, I Thank you so it. much. Thank you. This is Mr. Samuel Stanley, ladies and gentlemen, third grade ELE. You know, there's so many great teachers here. We just cannot get to them all, but we've got another one with us, Ms. Jessica Johnson, third grade ELE. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Glad to have you here. Share with us your story, okay? Um, I've been teaching for, this is my fifth year. I mm -hmm. was in Baldwin County originally, but I live in Dublin, so I've been commuting. I'm very excited to be back home and yeah. at Susie Dasher. We're so glad to have you back here. And so tell us about, you know, the first day. I mean, you're usually you're trying to get to know one another. What do you do normally the first day to get the kids acclimated? Well, obviously, it's going through our rules, procedures, and expectations. We want mm -hmm. every student to know how much they're loved, how much we enjoy that they're here, and what an exciting year we plan on having. It's very important to get to know your students because if you don't know them, you're never going to make it through the year. That's right. And, you know, what is it that you love most about teaching? And what, what keeps you going? It's that aha moment, that right. moment when you finally just see that after so much struggle and so much time and effort, they finally get it. They finally and they have so much pride in themselves, mm -hmm. and you see them pushing forward, and it's not a better feeling in the world. That's right. And at this age, it's so impressionable. Absolutely, isn't it? absolutely. What type of atmosphere do you like to have in your classroom? Uh, it's definitely fun. Yeah. It's definitely engaging. Um, I call it controlled chaos. Right, 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 right. <laughs> um, the important thing is to make sure that you enjoy learning because if we don't enjoy learning, we'll never be lifelong learners. That's right, that's right. And that's what we want them to be. Absolutely. Very good. Thank you so much, Ms. Thank Johnson. Thank you. Have a great year. Thank you. All right, this is Ms. Johnson, ladies and gentlemen third grade ELA. All right, we are definitely making our rounds here with Dublin City Schools and we're at Dublin Middle School and we've got some great people here that we want you to meet. We're gonna start with the young man to my left, Dr. Cheater, how are you? Yes, I'm doing fine, man. Now we know you, you worked here before. Yes, I started here, um, I stayed here for about six years. I was a special ed lead teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I left Dublin Middle School, I went to Johnson. County Middle High School as a assistant principal. Mm -hmm. Stayed over there for five years and I'm back home. Back home. What back brought home. you back home now? It was time for a change. Yeah. Uh, really trying to make a difference in the in the young people's lives and, and I think I have a, a positive impact. So. And you know, what made you decide to want to go into education in the first place? Well, I started out with probation. I was in law mm -hmm. enforcement and I decided, well, if I have to deal with the adults, I might as well get them while they're younger. And right. maybe we won't have to deal with them on that side. Right. So that was my motivation. Uh, my whole family's in education. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother's superintendent. My wife work at the uh, Board of Education. Right. My sister-in-law's principal. 
Uh, my oldest sister just retired from school system. Keeping it all in the family. So uh, my youngest sister is a counselor at Dodge County, and my younger brother is assistant principal at uh, Swainsboro Elementary. So you we're got all so in many education. different mascots that you all have to represent <laughs> with your family. But you know, you come from such a long line of educators, and, and here you are, you know, you're continuing that legacy and glad to have you back here as an Irish. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Good to be home. Good to have you. A lot of rivals you're going to be dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take it all in stride, Dr. Jeter. All right, young lady, share with us. Hi, my name is Justine Evans, and I am the counselor here uh, at Double Middle School, starting this year. I've been a teacher for 15 years, so mm -hmm. I'm starting a new career. How, so does it feel? How does it feel transitioning like you have? It's, um, it's different, of course, yeah. coming from the classroom and into this setting, but I am so excited to begin this new uh, start of my career. Mm -hmm. uh, I am uh, an alumni of Dublin High School, so again, like Dr. G, I'm returning oh, home. <laughs> Glad that you have returned home. You know, at this day and age, there's so many different things that kids that can get involved in, and, and so, and you know, even gangs is something right. that we have to look at at this age. Uh, what message do you want to give to the kids about, you know, um, your position that you're in and how you want to lead these young men and young women? Well, the message is, um, Education is a key mm -hmm. to their well-being later in life. Um, also, uh, the program that we have here, take advantage of it. Take advantage of 21st century. Take advantage of the extracurricular activity right. and make sure they focus in on academics mm -hmm. because uh, once they get our age, um, yeah. they'll set themselves up to be successful right. by taking advantage of what being a, a life for them to be a part of now. Absolutely right. And you know, you're following in some footsteps from Miss Alicia Brooks here. Yes. And you know, she's often been called like just a therapist for the kids and, and just a, a comedian at its best, but also yes. making sure she's instilling those values. Tell us what you plan to do with these kids to kind of help keep them on the straight and narrow in your position that you're in. Her footsteps are our big ones to feel, but I am planning on doing uh, exactly that, yeah. trying to be here for the kids and mm -hmm. encouraging them to be their best at what they're doing. At, we have a great school here at Double Middle School. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about the things that are, that are starting here at Dr. Stuckey and, and um, the administrative staff, so they should be have everything they need to be successful. Everything they need. You've got a great staff here. You know, I taught for a year here, and I yeah. love the people here and the kids. I mean, what you're doing each and every day impacts these lives, and so yeah. we're so glad to have you two in the positions that you're in to change these lives. It's good to be here. All right, good to see you, Dr. Jeter. Yes, ma'am. Good, good to see you. you. Miss Justine, always a pleasure, darling. The counselor, ladies and gentlemen, and the assistant principal here at Dublin Middle School. For expert computer repair service, count on Hometown Supply. Repairs on desktops, laptops, iPads, and more. Hometown Supply offers in-store and on-site computer repair service, including removal of viruses, recovering data, replacing screens, battery replacement, performing upgrades, and much more. From password recovery, hard drive replacement, keyboard repair, antivirus software installation, complete service made easy and convenient. For professional and personal computer repair, call on Hometown Supply. Your experts for computer repair service. Phone 272-0345 or visit us across from the skyscraper in downtown Dublin. For expert computer repair service, count on Hometown Supply. To us, we're just treating it. To the patients, it's something devastating to them. When you hear the word cancer, we're one of the few centers that do radiation treatment. Uh, you have to go another 50 miles to get radiation treatment somewhere else. And we also have a linear accelerator that can pinpoint to the head of a needle and treat. Uh, we have a gentleman that comes from Vidalia uh, to get treated and he's got one right there in town. Uh, we also have people that come from Millersville. Cure Point Cancer Center, 2406 Bellevue Road in Dublin. All right, we've got this amazing person here that I've already had the opportunity of meeting. Of course, I'd like to call you coach, but we've got okay. Miss Alexis right here, sixth grade sped. Good to see you again. You too, good to see you. All right, tell us again about your journey and, and what brought you into education. Um, this is actually my fifth year teaching. Mm -hmm. um, I came from Appling Middle School in Macon. Um, 
I really didn't know if I wanted to teach at first. It was just something that I kind of just fell into. Really? It just, I literally just fell into it. Um, when I went to school, I was kind of on the fence about what I really wanted to do. Right. But Miss Vivian Fluellen here from Dublin, she was my advisor at Fort right. Valley. So she was like, um, you know, they need some tutors over at, you know, Peach County Middle. Right. So I was like, okay, you know, I wasn't doing nothing. So um, I actually went. And I thoroughly enjoyed it, thoroughly right. enjoyed it. And the rest it. was history. Right, exactly. Wow. It was all history. And then here <laughs> you are, you're at Dublin Middle School. How has your transition been? Very easy. Very easy. I came right, I walked right into loving arms from everybody. Everybody's been so helpful. Mm -hmm. It just feels so good to be back home, finally. We're so glad to have you back <laughs> home, finally. And you know, as far as your teaching style and work, working with SPED, um, how do you uh, make sure that you're uh, relating to the students and understanding their needs and being able to help them to get better in their education? Well, in all honesty, this will be my first year teaching SPED. Okay. However, I feel as though if you build amazing relationships, build mm -hmm. a great rapport with the kids, everything else falls in line. Yeah. And, you know, especially working with SPED, an uh, area that is very sensitive, right. you know, very sensitive. You have to just be able to build relationships and mm -hmm. get good rapport with the kids and build it's that amazing relationship with parents also. Okay. That plays a big part, too, being able to reach out to the parents, mm -hmm. which works in my case because I actually went to school with a lot of parents. There so. you go. That's perfect. <laughs> so that's, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And so if you, what message do you want to give to the parents out there to just to give them that reassurance that you're here for the best interest of their children. Make yourself seen. Um, make yourselves open. Be flexible to what is going on in schools. Be mm -hmm. very flexible to it. Be very open and just know that we as educators are here for the babies. We're not here to hurt, harm, or do any type of damage to the babies. We only are trying to make them better. Wonderful. So thank you so much for being you're here. Welcome. We're excited about what the future holds for you in education as well as with the basketball team. Because <laughs> I will That's, be coaching basketball and track here at the middle school. So Wonderful. So you're going to be, you're going to have your plate full. Yes. Yes. But it's, it's good. It works out because this yeah. is home. This, this is, is home. home. And of course, uh, basketball, track. Mm-hmm. That's home for you. Right, exactly. All right. Good to see you again. <laughs> you too. You too. This is Miss Alexis Wright, or I like to call her coach. We are meeting so many great teachers here. And of course, at Dublin Middle School, we've got a geological science teacher with us, Ms. Marcelle Kennel. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now listen, share with us about your story, about where you started out, education field, how you've expanded your career, and what brought you here to Dublin Middle School? Well, I'm from Soperton, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I'm a hometown girl, so I yes. come from a large family of people who were very big on education. Right, right. And my mother was always serious about education. So I knew that I wanted to do something in biology. Mm -hmm. um, I went to school at the University of Georgia mm -hmm. and also at Bowie State in um, Bowie, Maryland. Yes. And I was a research scientist for about five years. Fantastic. And transitioned into um, teaching after that. And here you are. Yes. And tell us about your teaching style, because just sitting in here listening to you, I'm like, man, this class is going to have it together. Tell um, us about your style of teaching and what you really like to instill within them that will take them through not just the school term, but also through their life. Um, some, t some people like to say they teach a certain subject. I teach children. Right. And I understand that if I can teach a child, they can learn any subject, any content. Right. Um, so we talk about being a family, mm -hmm. and we talk about taking care of each other because yeah. we know that with respect, all learning takes place. Right. So anytime that a student can learn to be respectful, they can learn content. That's right. Even geological science. Even right? geological <laughs> science. And I like to call it geological science because the kids think it's something really hard. And so tell us what's the basis of this class, because you were talking about it being actually earth science, right? Yes, this is yeah. earth science. And in earth science, we talk about the non-living parts okay. of the earth. Gotcha. So next year, they'll be learning about the living parts. We learned today about the word abiotic and right. biotic. So next year, they'll be learning about the biotic parts of the earth. Yes. Today, we learn about the non-living, the, the abiotic. Wonderful. I mean, you can just teach a class right now here for us viewers right here about geological science. Yes. We're so <laughs> glad to have you here with us, Ms. Kennel. We appreciate um, your history, your background from where you come from, and we're glad that you're still living out the legacy of your family with education. Oh, I am too. I'm so glad to be back home, to be close to my mom, to yeah. be able to get to her when I need to. Um, I have two children, so they're adults now, so it was yeah. easier for me to transition into moving back home. So. Wonderful. So it's been a good transition? Yes, a oh, great transition. Very good. <laughs> good to see you. Good to be here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ms. Marshall Kennel, geological science teacher for sixth grade. Thank, Thank you. you.